Stampin' Friends, how are you today? It's Monday here in Texas. It is sunny uh, and hot. <laughs> today, I, or before I get started, I want to uh, remind you about our in colors. And we're going to highlight one of those today. Let me pull them up here so you can see them. There they are, those beautiful new in colors. We have Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, and uh, Bumblebee. They're beautiful. And like I said, we're going to highlight the Misty Moonlight today. So I'm real excited about that. The reason why I picked that was because I purchased a product medley. Let me switch over to my preview live. There we go. All right, on page nine, there is a product medley. And what that is, is it includes uh, a whole pack of designer series paper plus laser cut uh, labels and leaves in this case. It has ribbon, uh, the stamp set, the die cuts, and this embossed very vanilla paper. The whole entire medley is 70 American dollars. However, you can get just the refill kit, which is what I did for $23. And let me show you what you get in the refill kit. The refill kit comes with all of this paper. This is a huge designer series pack and let me pull this up so you get um, eight sheets of six by six which is the equivalent of two 12 by 12s of this one this one this one this one this one this one and then flip it over and you get all of these designs also so you get let's see one two three four five six times two is 12 designs that is a lot of paper. So you get all that, but that's not it. That's not all you get. You also get this beautiful embossed, very vanilla paper. Can you see that? Yeah, and you get two of each. So you get that with the medley or with the refill. And then you get two sheets of the leaves that are die cut. They're lazy and they have gold on them. Are they not gorgeous? Well, good morning, Kim. Good morning, Francine. Good morning, Nancy. And then you also get two sheets, I mean, four sheets of uh, labels with the gold uh, embossing also. So, oh, and you get these cute little flowers. So all of that for $23. That is an amazing deal. And it is found on page nine in the catalog. So we're going to use this beautiful designer paper and make a misty moonlight uh, what they call a monochromatic card. So it's all just blue. Okay. Now, what do I need? I need a Misty Moonlight card base and I cut it at four and a quarter by 11. So it flips up like this. All right. You need the very vanilla first layer, which is cut at three and three fourths. And that gives you a quarter inch uh, frame all the way around by five. Then I decided on this des this design of the indigo uh, paper pack. Isn't that beautiful? And the other side looks like that. <laughs> and we're going to put that there. That gives me an eighth of an inch all the way around. So I have a quarter of an inch and an eighth of an inch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this huge floral image, cut it out, and stick it right there, and then put the sentiment on there also. So let me go ahead and adhere all this down real quick. Oh my goodness. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I spent a lot of time in the pool. It was very hot this weekend. What did you guys do this weekend? Did anyone get any cards made or any scrapbooking made, done? Any paper projects? I think I've got some quilters here too. Any quilters working on their quilts this weekend? All right, there we have the base done. Now let's create this floral piece. So I stuck the uh, large floral image that comes in the ornate style stamp set. Let me pull that out again so you can see it. The ornate garden ornate style stamp set and it's in the ornate garden suite um, in the catalog and then I have our new in color misty moonlight and we are going to ink up 
this flower image in blue. So this is how you do a monochromatic card. You just stick with one color and do everything in that color. And you can have a, uh, like a, an accent color, and in this case it's vanilla. So an accent color. And we're just going to stamp that on there. See if we've got a good color. Oh, well, almost. See, I missed that leaf right there. Let's get that again. Let me, uh, See if there's ink on there. Ah, perfect. So there you go. That is why you want a stamp positioning tool when you use big stamps like this. Um, it's very easy to miss a little section when you're pressing down. Okay, so there is our flower. And let me uh, wipe off this stamp real quick. Okay, and of course this is just our... Uh, chamois, Stampin' Chamois, uh, just a wet water sponge that cleans off the stamp really well. All right, I'm going to pull this out. Now, we're going to fussy cut. Oh, your favorite thing, isn't it? Oh, so none of you, so I didn't see anybody make any comments about what you guys did this weekend. Did y'all just sit around? Anybody watch any good shows? All right, and I'm just leaving a little border around the edge. It's real simple. Not doing anything fancy. And this is a pretty big graphic. Uh, the It's pretty easy to cut out. There's no real detailed parts to it, edges or corners. So it's pretty easy to cut out. And it looks real pretty when it's cut out too, sitting in the center of the card. Well, I know what Francine did this weekend. She went and dug up her whole front yard, practically. She borrowed our tiller, and she is making the front uh, garden all gorgeous again. Her front... Uh, oh, what is it, Francine? Your, where your bushes and flowers and everything are up against the house. She's making that all pretty. Yes, oh, Kim, you did gardening, too. Awesome. Our tomato plants are doing amazing. Okay, if y'all remember back when I asked what y'all thought were eating my um, tomatoes, so we bought a plastic owl and put it with the tomatoes, and we have not had anything eating the tomatoes again. So I think it was birds. And Teresa sorted my mom's old photos to make memory albums of our... Oh, Teresa, I did that. Wow, what a project and what a treasure to have all those beautiful pictures all organized. You know, our, our, um, the younger generation just doesn't know how difficult it's going to be if they don't <laughs> start organizing their photos now. What a project that is. Yes, I did the same thing, Teresa. Put them all in albums, scanned them, sent copies to my brothers and sisters. It's a big project. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job, Teresa. Okay, there we go. And Nancy did gardening, a little stamping, but we have five boys. So it's <laughs> you five boys, Nancy. Holy gamoly, that's amazing. Oh yeah, the east flower bed. Thank you, Francine. All right, so we fussy cut our image out. Oh, you can see I got some ink on my hand. You can always tell a stamper by their hands, right? <laughs> okay, here's our card. And now we are going to place that right there, but we're going to pop it up. Okay, so where are my dimensionals? I just had them. Here they are. And I'm going to put four on here. This is a pretty big image. There we go. Whoops. I'll put one in the middle just for good. This is such a beautiful stamp set. The ornate style. The whole suite is. Um, the ornate garden suite is just gorgeous. Um, Okay, come on, get off there. There we go. All right, so we're just going to center that and just put that right there in the center. Perfect. Oh, gosh. And this, th it just, that's enough. That's pretty, but we are going to put a sentiment on here. Okay, so we're taking the sentiment from the other Ornate stamp set, Ornate Thanks, and we have, um, which one did I pick? Now I've forgotten. Hold on. What does it say? Uh... Oh, gosh, I can't read that. Just to say, to say, to say, where is it? 
Oh, just wanted to say. Okay, so it's going to say, just wanted to say here, and then when you open it up, it'll say thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what does that say? And we're going to use the real pretty, um, these um, labels, di label dies that come with this. Uh, and like I said, this is just the refill. Okay, this is just the refill. I'm going to take the one that has the two points on the end. Move these out of the way. Okay, and I need a foam pad. The thank you stamps are photopolymer, and so they need a little cushion. So we'll get a little foam pad here, and where's my misty moonlight? There it is. Ow! <laughs> oh, Nancy says, my youngest is a stamper, though finally got one. <laughs> Oh, four-year-old stamper. Francine, she gets her um, grandchildren to stamp, too. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, just wanted to say. Come on. Perfect. Oh, isn't that nice? No, y'all can't see that very well, but isn't that pretty? I love that handwriting, that font. That's beautiful. Just wanted to say. Now, Let's put this, there's another tool I'm using today, and this is the best tool. You all have to get this. This is a tag maker, a label maker, and it has half inch, three quarters inch, and inch um, little tracks here, and then it has two different uh, designs on the back, so you can make two different kind of um, pieces there. And while, oh my heavens, I had my strip right here. Come on, where was it? Oh, forgive me, people. I've already lost part of my card. Okay, we'll find it. Francine laughs at me. I'm always losing stuff. Aren't you, Francine? Okay, I'm sure I've stuck it in here with all this indigo pieces. Hmm. Oh, how frustrating. Yeah. Well, when all else fails, just make another one, right? <laughs> you guys. Uh, Nancy likes the paper. Yeah, the paper is just gorgeous. I love it. Move, move everybody out of the way. Get me some misty moonlight paper. I can't believe this. I was all ready for this. And then this happens. That's all right. So we are going, this uh, trimmer, let me pull it up here so you can see it. It has a one inch on this side and a one inch on this side. So either side's good. I'm just going to put that right up along the one inch. Hold it in place. Take my uh, blade, so I have a marked one has tape for the blade, and the other one is an embossing blade. All right, and I just cut right down. This is a great um, paper trimmer. I do love this paper trimmer. Okay, now, oh, and I need to trim it. Whoops, one more thing. I want it as long as the vanilla um, layer there, and that is at... What was that at? Three, three and three quarters, I believe. Whoops, I did have it the right way the first time. Three and three quarters. Right there, okay. All right. Yep, perfect. Okay, now I'm probably gonna find that strip as soon as this is over. Um, I'm using this one, and you just slide it on the track until it bumps up in the back and turn it over to make it sure it's there. Yep, it's there. And punch and then turn it over and do the same thing. Okay, and there we go. Isn't that fun? I love that tool. That is an awesome tool. Ooh, I thought I lost this. Okay, and then this is just going to go on there right like that. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I didn't make that long enough, did I? Okay. Thought I wanted it that length. <laughs> Hi, Colleen. How are you? I'm having issues this morning. I lost my strip that I'd cut for this card, and then I cut another one, and I cut it too short. <laughs> so let's do it again. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoops. Bent it. Um... So it's four and a quarter, so I want, yeah. Yeah, that'll work, okay. <laughs> See, the thing 
was when you uh, punch it out, it takes off part of the tag. Um, cuts it back here. Oh, come on, get in there. There we go. Now it should be long enough. Oh, that's much better. Okay, that's much better. All right, let's get some dimensionals. Pop this up here. Yes, Colleen, I love this punch. This is a really fun punch. Like I said, it can be for any length sentiment. It, well, I guess as, as far as you can stick it into the... I mean, I guess it couldn't be really, really little or you wouldn't be able to get it all the way back there, but... Okay. Da-da. Da-da. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Now that is just going to go right there like that. Actually, I'm going to... I don't want too many layers, so let's put some adhesive here and just put that on the flower. Okay. And we're almost done. I've got a couple more things I want to do. These cute little flowers, I want to add these on. And so they have some right there, and I thought I'd put a couple there. Oh, come on. Okay, these are the itty bitty ones, and these are the larger ones. I want these larger ones. And I'm going to put two of them on there. Come on, get, get, get. Da 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 dum dum dum. This is the joy of filming live all these mistakes. See, if I was making a YouTube video, I would edit all this out. <laughs> but I can't do that because you guys are with me right now. Here we go. Okay, our glue dot. Pull back till we find one. There's one. And take our little flower and put it on there. Okay, pull it off. And there's one little flower. And then come back here for this one. And put, whoops, come here, little fella. That one right there. And, and though it, it's very subtle, it is very subtle, but it's beautiful. Okay, and I was wanting to put some ribbon on here too, but I'm thinking it's getting a little cluttered. I'm, I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to making cards. I love it. That is so pretty. Oh, do you guys like this card? So this is called monochromatic, where you just use one color, um, and then you can have an accent. So the accent is the very vanilla, or in, in this case, it's also got some gold right there, but the most of it is just the blue or the misty moonlight. And remember, I got this paper from the Boho Indigo uh, refill. So I didn't buy the whole medley, I just bought the refill. And it came with all this paper and these tags and these flowers. So really, really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this card today, and don't forget, oh, thank you, Jean, for sharing. That means so much to me. That really helps. It helps other people find my uh, Facebook Lives and stuff, so thank you so much for that. Uh, before I go, though, um, pull it out here. I just want to remind you that Stampin' Up! is having an amazing joining uh, time right now. This is the best time to join Stampin' Up!'s family. They're giving away the free bundle, and... Uh, there's a bundle in there for like $51, and you would get that free. I forget which one it is. I'd have to look, at, look it up, but it would be free along with the $125 worth of product, all for just $99 and free shipping. So it's like over $200 worth of stuff that you get for $99. So it's an awesome time to join. And joining, uh, you can either do it as a business like I do, and I can show you how to do that. Or I've got quite a few, like Colleen, who does it as a hobby. And they just love to get the product for a discount. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much.